Hi, today we're going to be logged in as Dave Apthorpe and looking at how we can use approval processes on opportunities to control the amount of discount that we give away to our customers. So as Dave, we're looking at his opportunity High Hill Estates and what we can see is some dialogue between him and his manager Sarah just talking about the discount on this opportunity and how this could be manipulated to win the deal but also ensure the most margins obtained for the company. If we scroll down we can see more details of the opportunity. So we have about £100,000 in revenue and at the moment it's at the investigation stage. We also have some extra margin and discount fields on the opportunity so we're tracking the cash margin of 70,000 70, and the margin percentage of 69,000. We're also tracking the discount at 8,500 and the discount percentage of 7.7%. The value of these fields are derived from the opportunity products. So we have a cost price for each opportunity product, the sales price, the discount percentage and the total price. And what we're calculating is both the discount offered for each product in a cash value and also the margin received from each product in a cash value. So if we look at this opportunity, it's at 7.5% discount at the moment, and in this company, the maximum we can offer is 7% without having approval from a manager. So if Dave uh, tries to proceed this opportunity to the next stage of uh, customer evaluating, we can see that without the approval, he won't be able to do that. So if we try and save this record, and we get the validation error telling us to submit the opportunity for approval because the discount exceeds the pre-authorised discount limit. So we go ahead and we'll cancel that and we'll follow process and submit the opportunity to Sarah for our discount approval. So now we can see on the chatter feed that this has been uh, requested for approval from Dave to Sarah and if we jump to another window we can log in as Sarah and just see the opportunity from her perspective. So what we can see here is her chatter feed, so we're just going to go ahead and refresh the page. And now she can see the opportunity approval request uh, from Dave on this. So she's got the option to either approve or reject it directly from the, op uh, from the chatter post. And she can see the margin, the discount and other details of the opportunity. So here she's on the opportunity. Again, she sees the chatter feed, so we'll hide that for a moment. And if we scroll down, she can interrogate the data a little bit further and see that it's for a new customer and that the discount is at 7.7%, so only just over our threshold. She can also see which products are being discounted and by how much. So from here she can make a decision whether or not she's going to approve this discount approval request. So if we scroll down to our approval history, Sarah here has the option to either reassign the approval to somebody else, or she could approve or reject it herself. So we're gonna go ahead and approve the discount request for this opportunity. We can see the details here of the opportunity and the, and the amount of margin we're giving away. And we can provide some comments on why we're going to provide approval so we can look at this later on. So we're going to approve this discount because it's uh, reducing the upfront, com upfront cost for the customer and it'll help us win recurring business. So go ahead and approve that. Now we can look at the opportunity from a uh, serious perspective and see that down the bottom in the related list that this opportunity has now been approved. And it was approved by Sarah Watson and it was originally assigned to Sarah Watson. And we've also got your comments there which are helpful for when we look at this opportunity in future. So if we jump back to uh, see the opportunities Dave and refresh the page, he can now see also that in the chatter feed his approval request has uh, been, been approved. So this opportunity can now be progressed to the next stage. She can also see that it was Sarah who approved the opportunity. So we'll hide that feed and go ahead and edit the stage of this opportunity. So we're going to change this from investigation uh, to customer evaluating. And because we've got the approval from Sarah, we can now progress this opportunity to the next stage. So there you have it, that's how to use approval processes to control the amount of discount on an opportunity.